And today we're going to take it to the next level uh, because we still have some uh, code duplication. Uh, as you remember last time, let's say we had one API call, uh, one API helper. Uh, what if we have two, three, four, five, and so on, different ones, you know, uh, get random joke. Instead of get random, we would get, we would get get joke by ID and then, I don't know, get joke by name and so on and so on. So this would be a code duplication. And think about this. Now, if we would have uh, two plus uh, specs, let's call it search and this one called search as well, it's just for mocking data. Uh, so we have more data and then, uh, now we have uh, we have Axios everywhere. And that's not good because we have one, do you imagine you have 10, 20, 100 files? And one day Axios, uh, nobody supports access anymore. You're like, oh, what do I do? I gotta update all of the 100, 200,000 files. So no, that's not a case because we're gonna abstract it into your next level. Uh, so let's create uh, a new file and call it client. Uh, client.js uh, or actually API client would be more appropriate name for it. Thanks, Artie. Uh, all right, client api.js and then this is also, this is going to be our main file and I'll show you in a sec. So this file will not have any helper methods. On the other level, we'll have an abstract an abstraction uh, of the access. And that's the only place where access is going to live. And we're going to have get calls and we're gonna pass, uh, we're gonna pass URL. And that's pretty much it. I don't think we need to pass anything else since we're using uh, get. Um, or I should probably call it path because it's not a, or even route. Yeah, let's call it route because uh, that's where it's going to route us to. Uh, okay, so then we're gonna pass this guy right here and then send a response. Uh, so we're gonna go back to random API and now we're not going to use access anymore. We're going to use client uh, require uh, yeah, we're gonna require this guy right here. Uh, require API client. Okay, and now we are going to change this word to client get, and then we're only passing, you know, extra URL. This, that is not needed anymore. And now all of the API calls in our case, uh, we're going to update all of them. Uh, going to be using client. And now if it, if the access gets forbidden one day, you simply navigate to API client and you update it. Also, same thing about adder handling. You know, there will be cases where it will fail and you got to handle that as well. Uh, we're going to take care of it in, in another video. Uh, not at the moment, uh, but that's what you're going to do. So we have access only in one place. We can update it anytime we need it. We keep base URL here as well, since we do not need it anywhere else. That's actually awesome. We save so much code. Uh, and now let me show you a couple of more examples because you, we're not gonna only have get, we're also gonna have a post. Uh, post and you're gonna include a body and this is going to be post, uh, base URL route, mm -hmm. then a comma, body. And you know, in some cases you will even get it uh, need to use a token. Um, uh, in our example, we're not going to use it, but I'll show it to you. I'll show it here just in case. Um, and if we pass a token, that's going to be a different case. So we're going to say if uh, if token, let's say if no token, because that's what we're going to be doing most of the time. In our case, in your case, it might be different. So you're gonna to have to switch these. Uh, uh, this, and then uh, let's see else. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. 
token, uh, but we're going to pass the token. So if token doesn't, if token is not passed, if it's not true, let's set it to false by default. Uh, so if it is false, then send it with no token. If there is a token, if someone will send it, uh, will pass it through, then send it with token and then send a response back. And uh, I'll show you on, um, let me see if we have an example of that. Get, 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 get. Uh, we do not have a post, so I'll just show you get example as well. Let's move this guy into here. Okay, now we have a route and we have a token. So we are going to do the same thing with an exception of sending a get request. So now if I say, whoa, we're gonna send so many requests, but anyways, let's do it for fun. Uh, oh, actually not too many. Um, we are going to, yeah, we're gonna actually, let me remove some of the duplicates that we have here. Otherwise in my fail, and those are different names, different names, so we can ignore it. Okay, now we have, uh, let's see, async get, and we pass a token, and token will be false by default. Uh, okay, so we're going to run our code, and it's going to start right here. It's going to uh, use this helper method to send, uh, to send a request right here, and then we're going to get inside of the client, and a client is right here. And uh, that's the request, that's the helper we're gonna use. Uh, so we're going to get a token, but we're not going to pass it. So it's going to be false by default. And then this part of the code will get executed. And just in case, I'm gonna put a console.log here. So you guys could see that this is getting executed. And then I'll also show you that this is not getting executed. You will not see that line. Anyways, uh, mocha test, uh, it was a command. No, it was npm test. Alrighty, running it. Boom, uh, awesome, it fails. Uh, we're not using post anywhere. Why is it even body, body, body? Why are you? crying about a body. Uh, reference error, body is not defined. Oh, it's not about body, hold on. Um, let response, uh, and then, oh, actually it is crying about a body. I, I didn't look at the line because it looks at line nine, which was right here. Uh, we do have to we don't have to remove the body because we're not going to use it for the get requests. We're only going to use it for the post requests. One of us and boom, boom. This is getting executed. This is getting executed. And none of them are not getting executed because we did not pass token. And we're going to pass token now, just so you would see an example. Uh, get random joke. You know what? Let's remove uh, everything except the first one, just so we would have a cleaner result. Uh, so get random joke, and then we're going to pass some token. I don't know, let's say random token. It's not going to do any harm because the API is just going to ignore it, but this is an example how to use it. And also, we need to pass it through here now. Uh, token here gets into token there. Mm -hmm. We're getting another token here. And another token there. And we do have to put it uh, inside here. All right, now we should be good to go. So we're, uh, now we should see the different line. Okay, validate status. Uh, can I use in? Uh oh. Oh, okay. So actually, it is, uh, it is breaking the code if we're passing the second parameter. Uh, let's see this is not getting executed. That's what I was talking about. So it sends request uh, by utilizing this helper method and it tried to pass that token in here and it did fail based on that. Uh, all right, that's how you can structure a framework. You know, this abstraction brings you to a next level of saving um, time and money. 
of the future of code writing because you're not wasting so much so many lines of code at least and it's going to save you so much time and money whatever something goes wrong with access or you get a new manager he says access sucks you gotta switch to node fetch it might happen <laughs> good luck guys enjoy your evening and that's sergey k from qlesson and awfulpanda.com <laughs>